Hey everyone, this is Nate and this is the Nader Tater channel. Alright, here we have a MoFi 5500 gateway or router and I'm going to do some testing with this specifically with a 4x4 MIMO external antenna. So replacing the stock un uh, units that come on the side of it, unscrewing them and hooking up a big external antenna to see how much speed I can get out of this guy. Now I've done some testing on this router in the past. I've compared it to T-Mobile Home Internet, Verizon Home Internet, as well as other third-party uh, routers like uh, Peplink I have or uh, Chester Cheetah that I have. So this one actually underperformed a little bit more than I thought it would compared to some of the other ones like the Chester Cheetah. And I reached out to MoFi directly to, um, to get their take on it. They think that it should do better. And uh, one thing to know is that this one has a EM9191 uh, internal um, modem in there because it does. They do have options for different modems, but that modem is considered a good one. Uh, there are newer, better ones that are either out or just about out. But this is considered to be uh, a good one, and they were thinking it should get better speed. So I worked with them to say, hey, you know what are some ideas here that you guys can try and one thing that happened is very recently the past like week or two uh, here in early March 2023 there is a new cellular module firmware that updates and I think it's version 3.10.07 so that is what I just updated uh, in here and I also made sure that the router firmware as well is the latest and that module firmware I'm told by MoFi at least is that one of the things it did was to help with the 5G speed so we'll test that out of course we'll do a baseline with just these um, stock antennas first and then we'll unscrew them and hook up the waveform 4x4 MIMO now waveform has installation guides out there and I took this picture from their guide and it shows uh, the antenna that I'm using here is this panel one they you can also have four individual log periodic directional antennas if you wanted to go that way I don't really think there's a huge benefit in doing that it's harder to set up you have to make sure each one is oriented correctly and spaced correctly the panel one is much easier to deal with so that's what I've been dealing with personally but um, there are other options now in here they list the order of which you hook these things up and then that part is important it's very easy to um, screw in you just unscrew this um, stock one and you can literally screw in the SMA connector right here so you don't have to take anything apart like you would with a uh, stock T-Mobile or Verizon gateway but even though that part's easy you do have to pay attention to the order and the reason for that is because um, MIMO means that they're paired up so you have a uh, cross polarization like you know one um, of these will be normally listed like a minus and a plus or a minus 45 and a plus 45 and that's the way that the antenna is oriented and so these have to be um, paired up and then you want the um, polarity to be correct amongst the pairs as well so I'm gonna follow waveforms suggestion I'm also going to test out uh, one or two other just to make sure because I have found sometimes that um, there are other alternatives that maybe work just as well or sometimes even better than the waveform one at least on the the stock T-Mobile gateways I've, I've found that but um, we'll test that out and see what kind of speeds we get. Now, I have both Verizon and T-Mobile SIM cards that I can use in here. Those are Verizon Home Internet and T-Mobile Business Internet, not, not the home version. But um, I won't go into the details on exactly how you do that or uh, what settings you have to change. I have other videos that cover all those kind of details. So check out my channel for more videos like that. I have playlists out there that break down third-party routers, ones just for the waveform external antennas, just T-Mobile, just Verizon Home Internet. And of course, uh, like and subscribe if you find this content good. But let's get upstairs, and I do all my testing kind of at the top level of my house. It's like a loft area right alongside the attic, and that's where I get my best signal. So I'm going to go do some testing, and we'll see which antenna connection and setup works the best, as well as what kind of speeds we get with it. All right, so here is my setup. You can see this is the end of my waveform antennas. Now the uh, cables are labeled and I add a little tape labels that are easier to read. And then I actually have these pigtails. Now, ideally you don't have any pigtails in it because each connection and each um, you know foot of wire uh, hurts your signal because it drops. But these antennas are on other, either side of the MoFi. So I need something to connect to them 
and allow them to be closer together because this waveform antenna has to branch out so short. I could obviously cut this back because these four wires are all inside of here, um, but I just don't want to cut the wire, so I'm going to or cut the um, insulation. So I'm just going to use these for this testing that are out there. I've actually given that feedback to waveform. I think they're looking at extending um, the branch, you know, individual ones longer so that it's easier to route for these things. But just to give you an idea of where I'm up, up here, this is the end of the 30 foot standard um, cable. It goes over here into the attic space. And that's where it falls along the ground here. I see I have two cables here. One's actually a two by two for that antenna. But for this testing, I'm just using this four by four panel that's up here in the attic. And I have it pointed through the um, roof there. So it goes through one layer of sheathing and one layer of asphalt shingles. And then about a mile uh, away is where my tower is. All right, we are connected to the MoFi now. And we'll go in here and do a quick speed test. This is with a, a T-Mobile SIM in it. All right, so let's check out and see what uh, bands it's connected to. Okay, so just for fun, I'm going to use the MoFi internal internet speed test. Now, this technically uses the um, same uh, speedtest.net kind of backbone. Now, you have to look at the um, actual server that it uses. This one looks like it's actually using a uh, T-Mobile uh, server in Texas, which is surprising. That's quite far away from me here in Michigan. This at least takes the actual tablet and Wi-Fi out of the equation because this is directly from the MoFi unit to the server on the internet. Okay, and so that was um, slower download and I think slightly faster upload than the other one. But, all right, so I'm going to use the MoFi built-in ban uh, lock and scanner tool. And what this does is it goes out there and tries to find the best bands that I have available. Now, now this is with the stock unit. And I will let it run this test and tell me which one I should use. And I'll I'll let it um, pick that and then we'll see what kind of speeds we get. All right, so here we can see our status for our advanced signal metrics. And you can see that we are on B66 for LTE and N41 with 60 megahertz for the 5G. And you know, take a peek at the signal to noise as well as just the signal strength for these. We'll go in here and do a quick uh, speed test again and just see if it made any difference here. Let's do uh, the regular uh, speed test.net one. Okay, so 123 over nine. And again, this is over in Minneapolis, was so way far away. Let's go back to just the regular speed test.net app that I have on this tablet and run it to see if I get anything different on the app directly. Okay, so yep, it was a little bit slower with the app. Let's go ahead and add the 4x4 and just see what it does. All right, so all I've done is screw in the um, external antenna and I'm hitting retest to see what it does. All right, wow, that is certainly a impressive increase in the upload speed. Let me pull back up. I forget what it was before it was at 6.8. So we are, you know, over four times faster with upload and the download is a good 35% um, faster as well. So again, I didn't do anything other than screw in that 4x4 antenna. Let's go back into the interface here and have it test itself again and just see what we get. Okay, so this also showed a massive improvement in the upload, but the download actually slowed down. So let me just run it again and see if um, if something was going on with the network there. Okay, nope, it still uh, is not as quick there with that download speed, but let's go in here to the advanced signal strength 
and just see what kind of numbers we have here and try to compare them to where we were before. Now we're on band B2 and N41. And let's see um, how these signal numbers compare here. Okay, so now I'm on the Arcadian KVD21 directly via Wi-Fi. And I'm up here in the same place, stock unit, and just see what the baseline Arcadian KVD21 gets. It's actually about five feet away from the MoFi. And we're just seeing what kind of speeds it gets as a baseline. So it gets about 100 down and 15 up. Which that upload, you know, the KVD21 has always been pretty good for me for upload. So it does outperform the stock MoFi um, with the upload speed. I think the download speed is um, you know, about on par. All right, so this is saying I'm on a um, B66 LTE base. And then I'm on N77, which is Verizon C-Band. So this is the Verizon SIM card that is in there. And we will go and see what kind of speeds we get with that now. All right, so this is the baseline stock MoFi unit with Verizon. About 110 down and 8 up. Let's go into this um, speedtest.net app and see what it gives us. All right, so um, a little bit faster download and a little bit slower upload, but um, relatively similar speeds there with the app as well. Okay, so now all I've done is screw in the 4x4 antenna, and let's just compare what I got from this uh, 129.6 to see what it gets now. Okay, so just by plugging in the 4x4 antenna, we went from 129 to 148 for download and from 6 to about 11 for upload. So definitely a improvement, but nothing crazy um, on the Verizon. It seemed to be less sensitive to it, but let's go into the unit itself and um, let's first see what type of signal it's saying it's getting now with the 4x4. All right, so it's on B66 uh, still for the 4G LTE. And we can see that we are getting for 5G in 71. Okay, so it gets uh, 107 and 12 for the modem itself. Now, let me go into my... Um, 5G gateway and compare it directly. All right, so now I am connected directly to my Verizon 5G gateway, and this is just a stock cube gateway. Let's see, this is the Arcadian one that's sitting there. All right, so this one should be using the exact same service as this MoFi. And you can see here the Verizon cube actually well outperforms the mofi even the mofi with a 4x4 so on verizon at least i'm not seeing the mofi outperform the stock cube gateway all right well there you have it the mofi certainly does get improved performance with the 4x4 external antenna but it will vary based off what uh, signals you have available at your house as well as what carrier you have so as you saw in that testing, the T-Mobile really is the one that saw a big difference versus um, the Verizon one, which is a much less extent. And overall, the Verizon performance on this device with the N77 band, which is Verizon C band, is underperforming um, many of my other units. And, and just to be fair with it, a lot of these 5G routers I see have trouble with Ver Verizon C band. Some of them don't even connect to it. I've had one of the PEP links actually underperform and not do well. I had one of the other PEP links, the BR1 uh, 5G Max Pro. That one actually did really well with the Verizon after a firmware upgrade. And I've seen that on other ones. So, and you know, I've had in Seago actually, I've been testing some of that. And that one does better performance, just stock. 
than this one does stock or with a 4x4 antenna. So I don't think it's an antenna thing. I think it's a modem thing that is causing it to underperform on Verizon. But from a uh, T-Mobile standpoint, it is getting better speed than the um, 5G uh, T-Mobile gateway stock. And it gets significantly better speed once I put the 4x4 antenna on it. So that's the testing that I've done. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below. And of course, uh, stay tuned for more content.